Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. I'll be the instructor for the course Operating Systems and my name is Mohammed Salman Chaudhary and uh, my office address is S4 to 6. You'll be getting this course outline on Moodle if you're enrolled in the course. I will be having these office hours. This is my email address and you will be getting Zoom links in the file again if you're enrolled in the course. And we'll be creating a, a course group on Facebook so that we can interact better on that platform. The textbook for this course is Operating System Concepts, which is written by Silver Shets. And uh, this is a pretty standard course. It's a core course. And you must take this course in order to graduate in computer science. So we'll be having lectures. We'll be having labs. You'll be getting assignments and quizzes and exams. And uh, the objectives of the course are to fully understand what an operating system is, what it does, how it is constructed, what is the architecture of an operating system. The modern operating systems are pretty complex, by the way. So we'll have to understand them in uh, full depth. And then we need to know the hardware structure before we system is and how it uh, uses that hardware to do certain things. So that's why I always recommend you to have taken the course uh, Computer Organization and Assembly Language. So if you have not taken that course, I would recommend that you take Operating Systems only after taking Computer Organization and Assembly Language because then you'll have mu a much better idea of uh, how the operating system is working and how it is using the hardware it is supposed to manage for the user. So you'll be getting video lecture links and uh, we will be interacting on Zoom and you'll be expected to attend all the lectures because this course seemed to have like three different parts as far as learning is concerned. The first one is purely the theoretical part. The second one is the part where you have some kind of numericals and another part is the programming part, we will be doing programming in C language. If you don't have an in-depth knowledge of the C language, it doesn't really matter that much. But if you do, it will be a plus point. I'll be giving you a, an introduction to C in the first couple of weeks in lab so that it's easier for you to go through the labs and the assignments. So this is the textbook uh, Operating Systems Concept by Abraham Silbershed's other authors where you can see that there are programming projects at the end of a chapter. And then you can see that there are numerical problems where you can see numbers. And then you can also see discussion-based questions like consider this. So these are theoretical questions. So all three types of questions are there at the end of each chapter. Uh, I hope uh, you have got some idea about the course. And I hope to see you if you're enrolled in the course. See you.